and I mean, my name is Judy Meyer. <laughs> That's good. We live in Coeur d'Alene, Hayden Lake area, and we've lived here about 40 years. And it's because of Steve that we're here. Ta da! <laughs> I'm Steve Meyer, and, and um, we're very fortunate to have been in Coeur d'Alene for these 40 years and, and uh, have a chance to do the things that have been of interest to us and that we're keen about. Uh, it's been a great place to, to invest our lives. <laughs> I think we both uh, chose to live here because we felt like we could uh, participate in what's going on and hopefully in a constructive sort of way, which means some responsibility we have to share back if we're fortunate enough in different ways we can share. And so for Steve, who's willing to be the breadwinner most of the time and most of the ways, although I also help operate a business, it led us to saying, yes, we want to raise our family here. We're lucky enough to now have one of our sons return to the community which is, I think, very confirming, affirming for us that this community is rich enough in the sense of having the cultural and employment opportunities to thrive and grow and, and be a good global uh, community, literally, because anymore it is global, whether it's... Global it's, citizens. That's a better mm -hmm. word for it, yes. So uh, I would say that's why it just seems like that's what you want to do when you have, have uh, an opportunity to share, and hopefully they're in constructive ways, well, as I said. Another interesting aspect there is we've had the good fortune and the interest to be able to travel and so mm -hmm. we've taken our children from very young age to lots of places and gone to lots of places ourselves and talked uh, about them and, and, and uh, mm -hmm. just a couple of years ago we were in Central Asia for a while and you know that's a part of the world that we knew nothing about and it's gigantic uh, Kazakhstan is bigger than all of Europe for example um, I didn't even know where it was. It's still not a spell it. <laughs> and, and, uh, but, but the ideas about people's values and what's important in their culture have influenced our thinking. And when we come back here, we want to bring the good things. Maybe we can share some of those yep. ideas and some of those experiences, uh, not by necessarily telling specific stories, but perhaps by trying to be have an influence by providing information to others who are with us and trying to guide. Uh, what's the right path mm -hmm. for the school system Policies. or what's the right mm -hmm. path for the community or on those kinds of And I think there's, such, questions. there's so many good people in the community, it's easy to be part of it. We do nurture and nourish each other in the process. Sometimes we call it sanity checks along the way, how are we doing? But uh, it, in a way that makes it easier to participate if it were such a negative experience after a while you wear out. But for us here I think it's just been a, a very fortunate time and, and uh, we're just going to outlast sure. the negativism. <laughs> we shall and, overcome. And we shall overcome. <laughs> we're just right. consistent and persistent and and uh, Consi consistent, consistent, I guess, yeah. <laughs> uh, and and uh, committed to make this a good place. Well, and I think I have a favorite uh, Sufi blessing. I'm not sure where we saw it because it is more of a Middle Eastern, Central Asia philosophy. Is one of from you I uh, receive and to you I give. Together we share. By this we live. That's a great, it's a great <laughs> it's way to sum it up. For us. <laughs> yeah.